I want to give y'all the sauce. I'm not talking about soy sauce, hot sauce, not even Big Mac sauce. I'm talking about giving y'all that Chick-fil-A sauce, okay? What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back. My name is Erica, aka That Girl. And if you didn't know, that's okay. Stay tuned and you'll be sure to figure out why. Also, hit the subscribe button if you really want to get to know me. Like most people in the world, I hate watching a YouTube video and they're just rambling and I'm just like, get to the point. I'm not gonna be that girl on YouTube. I'm gonna give y'all what y'all want and what y'all clicked on this video for. So let's get right into it. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys seven tips on how to get every job you interview for. I've worked a lot and I've literally gotten every job since before I was even able to get a legal job, I'm talking 12 and then at 16 and so on and so forth. I'm 24 years old. So I think I know a little bit about what I'm talking about and I wanna be able to share that kind of thing with you guys. On this channel, I want to give y'all the sauce. I'm not talking about soy sauce, hot sauce, not even Big Mac sauce. I'm talking about giving y'all that Chick-fil-A sauce. Are you sure about that? Coming in at number one, Apply for jobs that you're genuinely interested in. When you're sitting down with an interviewer, one of the first things that they can notice is if you're genuinely interested in the position that you've applied for. It comes across in the way that you're talking. It comes in across the way that you're sitting. It comes across in the way that you dress. First impressions are everything. And if you're just genuinely not interested in a job that you're interviewing for, they are gonna pick up on it, they're gonna notice it, and there's nothing worse than sitting down, talking to somebody, and you can see it on their face, you can see it in their body language, you can see it in the way that they speak, that they don't even want the damn job. You know what I'm saying? That they don't even want to hear what you're saying or engage in the conversation. So apply for jobs you want to work. And I understand that a lot of times we're stuck between a rock and a hard place where we just have to work jobs because we need money. And if it's one thing about me, I've been grown, I pay my bills, my bills are paid. And I know what you guys might be thinking. Erica, like, not every job that you apply for that you're gonna be interested in working. Yes, I get that. But if you genuinely don't wanna wipe ass, you're not gonna apply for a job that you're gonna have to wipe ass. And I, oh. Am I right or am I right? People don't go to nursing school because they don't wanna draw blood or they don't wanna help people. They don't spend all that time doing something that they don't wanna do. So why would you? They wanna know who's gonna be on their team is genuinely interested in working there, okay? Let's get into number two, be proactive. And what I mean by be proactive is I mean, honestly, do research on the company that you're interviewing for, the position, do your due diligence, go prepared. Print out your resume, have a copy with you. Make sure that if you have to go to an interview and you don't have a car, you don't have transportation, that you find your way there and you're there early. Because if it's one thing I love to say, on time is late, early is on time. And if you're late, you just better not show up at all, okay? So being proactive is making sure that you're 10 steps ahead of yourself. Account for the weather, account for traffic, find the bus route, get a ride, figure it out because if you want it bad enough you're gonna get it okay number three be persistent go after what you want if you genuinely want it right we just spoke about that so making sure that if you don't hear back from a company and you've applied and it's been a couple of weeks or it's been a week that you reach out to them people get busy these jobs these companies they have a lot of things going on on a daily basis, multiple things at a time. It won't hurt for you to pick up the phone, dial the number. Hi, this is such and such. I applied for this position X, Y, and Z amount of time, and I was just calling to inquire about the status of my application slash interview. Boom. It's that easy. And then that goes to show them too, like, hey, she genuinely wants this. He genuinely wants this. Okay. As well as if you get to the interview, and they schedule you for a time to shadow. You go and you do that shadow. You email those people right after and let them know how grateful and thankful you are for even being allowed into the space to shadow those workers, to shadow the company, to shadow the business. Because a lot of times people don't even get that far. So showing appreciation is just as important because that again, just shows them how much you genuinely want it. And number four, 
dress the part. Everybody and their mama has heard dress to impress. We learned it in school, yada, yada, yada. I mean, it's just a way of life. If you want these jobs, you're gonna go and you need to be presentable. You need to be groomed. If you have a beard, make sure it's tamed. If you've got hair, comb it, braid it, twist it, bop it. <laughs> Sorry, I cracked myself up. Stop it. Get some help. Get your hair done. Make sure that you look presentable. If you want to put on makeup, that's what you do. I know a lot of people will be like, dress clothes are expensive, whatever the case may be. Go to your local Salvation Army. Go to your local thrift store. And a lot of times we have certain things in our closets, in our dressers that we can put together that looks presentable. It might not be business professional, but it could be business casual. It could be something on the nicer end. If you have a nice covered up tank top, pair it with a cardigan, some jeans, and maybe even some leggings if you don't have jeans, and a nice pair of shoes, some sandals. Don't go there like you just rolled out of your damn bed. You don't know how many times I've seen people come walking up into an interview, either in or out, and they look like they just don't give no damn about themselves. I mean, torn up sweatpants, painted up hoodies and sweaters, raggedy ass shoes, or crop tops and ripped jeans, looking like they're going to a damn concert. Just the part. If this is something you genuinely want, make sure that your outwardly appearance shows, hey, I'm clean, I'm professional, this is what I want, and this is how I'm gonna get it. So make sure that that's what you're doing. First impressions are everything. As shallow as it might be, these people will look at everything okay these interviewers these businesses these recruiters they look at everything down to what the freak you have on your feet to what your hair looks like for the most part it's not what they should be paying attention to but if you look like you just rolled about your bed why did you show up make sure you're clean professional look good smell good that's fine and number five make sure your energy is present i get it a lot of times we're applying for jobs we're interviewing for jobs and we're nervous as hell i've been nervous on multiple occasions you never stop being nervous honestly but it just goes in how you show it now if you're going and you're just showing up and you're jittering like a damn crackhead fiending hey okay tyrone do you know why you're here mm -hmm. i'm here for the same reason you is man they can look at you a little crazy. But even if you're in the middle of your interview and you're talking to these people and you're like, you know what, um, give me one second, I'm just a little nervous, I'm excited to be here, you know, um, this is an amazing opportunity. There is power in vulnerability. If you say, you know what, I'm just a little bit nervous, that's okay. They actually eat that up, they love that because that means you're showing all the emotions, you're feeling all of your feelings. But don't go there and be nervous and not speak up or talk like this and hold your head down and play with your hair, or fiddle, fiddle with your thumbs and um, um, yeah, um, yeah, no, let's not do none of that, okay. Make sure the energy is there, that you're live, you're excited. You bought your money, right? So bring that excitement. Show that the energy is there because a lot of times they want people who are going to show up for their businesses. They're going to be energetic, personable. They don't want people who are just... Mm. No. None of that, okay? Make sure that your energy is there. You're excited. You're live. You're present. You're communicative. You're just personable that you are trying and you're willing to make these connections okay don't close yourself off number six be authentic we are all one of a kind we all have something a specialness to us that nobody else can match so go in there being yourself there's like no one else can be but you right so you go and you show that side of you be you make sure that they get a little taste of who you are being authentic has literally gotten me everywhere in life. I am unapologetically me. I don't try to act like anybody else. I don't try to be anybody else but Erica. You cannot be anybody else but you. You're special. God made you to be who you are. So you go and you show those people a little bit of you, you know? And I know a lot of us are a lot to handle all the time. So sometimes we gotta just dial it back and be a little professional, but that still doesn't take away from being authentically you.
it doesn't take a rocket scientist to spot someone who's being disingenuous, to, who's being fake. You're faking a fraud. You can see that. And nobody wants anyone to work for them if that's the case. So make sure that you are going and you're being authentic and you're pulling out just who you are, splashing a little taste of you here, splashing a little taste of you there. Just bask in that. Bask in being who you are and showing them who you are. And number seven, claim that shit. If you want it bad enough, it's yours. You go in there with a positive mindset that the job is already yours. Everybody knows about the law of attraction. You get in what you put out. If you're putting out negativity, if you're putting out negative energy, if you're putting out nastiness, that is what you're gonna get back. But if you're putting out positive energy, you're speaking things into existence, you are claiming it, it is yours. There is nothing like just believing it and claiming it and going in there, walking with your head held high. That confidence speaks volumes. But if you go in there like, oh, oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this. I'm, I'm shy, I don't know how to, answer these questions i'm nervous that negative energy is going to loom down on you like a damn cloud over your head so go and just claim it if you want it bad enough it's yours yeah I'm a savage i'm a savage oh i'm a savage whatever i want i'm going to get whatever i want i have to get and last but not least show up and show out Make sure that you're demonstrating your value to this company because they want to know that you are going to be an asset to them. Make sure that you are telling them why you would be a great fit for their company. And in that, do your research about who it is that they look for. Go on their website. A lot of times these businesses, these companies have pictures of what their employees look like, their core values, like what they want to incorporate into their business, who it is that they're looking for, whether it be culturally or just personality, make sure that you are even going to be the right fit. If they want energetic, high energy people, go, 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 fast paced. You can pay attention to detail. Make sure that you're the kind of person who can handle the job before you even go and apply an interview for it. That's one of the biggest things that they're looking for is people who can fit into what they want. So as much as we need the money, as much as we need to get our shit together, they are looking at us as if we are gonna fit their criteria. And that's just the truth of the matter. These are things that they're looking for. And if you can go and you can demonstrate that you are an asset, that you are valuable, that you need to be on their team, that they want you, there's literally no way you can't win. So make sure that you're going and you're, like I said, you're showing up and you're showing out and you're giving it your all. Even if you feel like you don't have the experience necessary for what it is that you're applying for, don't go and sit there and be like, oh, I don't have the experience. I don't know how to do this. Rewind. Before you even go, look back at your past. Look back at things that you can say, oh, I volunteered in high school. I did community service hours. Or I've taken care of my grandmother for X amount of years. Oh, I've worked with kids. I've babysat kids for a long time. Find out what qualifies you, what value you can add to them and apply that. A lot of the times people have never done certain jobs in their life and they're still getting these jobs. It happens all over the world. So why can't it be you? It can be. You just go and you look within yourself and you find what correlates to the value that you're gonna be able to add to this company and you go and you showcase that. I wanted to share these tips with you guys because they've never not worked for me and I know how hard it is to look for work and need work and want to work so that in order for you to pay your bills with that being said i don't want you to just apply one or two or three of them apply every single one and i'm sure that you too can get every job that you interview for if you believe it you will see it the way that the world is going right now we all need money we all have to pay our bills and we've all got things to take care of people to see vacations to take savings accounts to grow if you're a young teenager if even if you're an older person just looking for some work to do while you're retiring go out there and get you a job prices of things are just going up so don't be afraid to go out there and conquer the world i hope all of these tips were super helpful and that you guys do apply them because again like i said they have never not worked for me and i want to make sure that you guys are going out there and getting those offer letters okay 
getting those jobs, signing those contracts, and making sure that you got money coming in. So with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Mary, Mary told you it's the God in you.